Hi, insert name here. Is there daylight savings time when you're a digital nomad? Asking for a friend. Daylight savings time is dumb. Let it be light longer in the evening. It's what everyone wants, and all the stories I've read about why we even have DST are dumb. I know, I know, there are five or six of you out there that get up early and you want the sun to be shining. The sun is not shining at 5.30 in the morning. It's not. It's just a little less dark. My dad got up early, really early, like 5.30 early, and he was happy. He would be whistling and figured it was a great time to clean out the closet and replaster the kitchen. And how in the world can anyone make that much noise making coffee? You don't have to clank the sides of the cup when you're stirring in your milk and three or four scoops of sugar. You just don't. Switch the spoon around in the middle of the cup. You have no idea how loud that frickin' spoon is at 5.30. So yeah, I take after my mom on the sleeping thing. So that's why being a digital nomad is interesting to us. Victoria and I figure when we're digital nomads, we're always in an exotic time zone and we're free of the constraints of that pesky time thing. Basically, you're delirious all the time because you're always jet lagged. So if somebody in Los Angeles wants to do a Zoom call at 3 in the afternoon, then fine. You set the alarm for 4 a.m. and Bob's your uncle. And in a kismet kind of way, Victoria just shouted from the bathroom that London and Portugal don't even do the dumb daylight savings time thing. So it's now only four hours difference from there to here. Here being New York for now. And that would mean you could easily put your glass of wine in a coffee cup and have that Zoom call at 10 p.m. with that pesky client in LA at 3 p.m. Pacific time. How are they gonna know? They don't have smell-o-vision on Zoom yet and you get extra brownie points for being all dedicated and willing to go the extra mile for your client. Now, I just need some clients. Okay, that's it. I'm not gonna get all mushy. See ya, Kevin. P.S. The website is not turning the clock back ever again. The socials are still trying to figure out what the second hand does.